hi everyone welcome back to another video which is putting text behind and subject easily and without the clip needing to be high contrasted unlike my other tutorial now this has been a trending topic and now i have an answer for you but again before we get into our video don't forget to like and sub to my channel for more content to come cue the intro Now go ahead and run VSDC and import your clips and as you can see, my video's background is now removed. I actually used an online website to remove it. Now if you want your video to have no background as well, you can watch this video which I have uploaded some time ago which is a, tor which is a tutorial about using that website to remove the background on your video in the quickest way. And I also recommend exporting it in GIF or GIF because it is gonna be the format that I use in this tutorial so yeah now arrange the clips so that the GIF is above the original clip big reminder for unscreen is that it has a 5 second limit so it is a big downer but there is no limitation on how many clips you can do it on so it's still a win after you've arranged it properly, you're gonna notice that the real subject versus the unscreened subject has a different timeline. That's because the GIF made it so that it is shorter and faster than the original timeline of your clip. What you wanna do is select the GIF on the timeline and go to the properties window and go to speed parameter and make it slower so that it actually matches the original video timeline little by little and as you can see it matches like there is no on-screen gif at all in the preview panel so that's the result that we want there's a little preview now like i said on-screen has a five second time limit and since my clip is a six second clip i'm gonna just go ahead and adjust the duration of that there now you're basically done once you've done that but most of the times on screen has little bits outside as you can see on the screen right now because it is just an ai thing on an online website and you don't have a green screen so if you have problems like this on the outside i'm gonna show you a trick that can get rid of it now first let's add a thick shadow to the gif so that we can see the bits a lot better plus it does add any effect on it so now if your on-screen GIF is perfect and it's all done and stuff, you don't have to do this trick. But if you do, then stay tuned. Okay, so you can either click the crop symbol at the top left on the cutting and splitting tab. No need to click the arrow. You can just click this button straight up or you can select the GIF and right click your mouse and go to the crop tools and then custom region. But the easier way is to do this again, just click your GIF and click this crop symbol. And then this tab will show up. There's this little timeline here where you can see where the mistake parts is by dragging or clicking on certain parts of it, as you can see. And now what you want to do is literally crop it to where the mistake bits are not being shown at all. Now I can only put it up to his hand because the subject hand will get cropped out but if you put your text to where the mistake is not shown, it will still work out. So since it's just the hand, I guess it's fine. That's what I thought but it actually made it a little wrong on the hands. You'll know what I'm talking about soon, just keep watching. After that, you can see that it is not aligned with the original subject so what you want to do is first move around your gif and then bring it back to the show panel and then you can now move it pixel by pixel by pressing your arrow key and now as you can see there is no more mistake bits on the bottom but the hands are somewhat a little dark i'm just gonna go ahead and adjust so that the hands are not being cropped out it's up to you really press ok and then just move it around again now if I play that, there is a little mistake on the floor but it does make our subject's hand look a little bit better. So yeah. 
now since you're done with the trick and the cropping stuff you can just basically add text behind the gif now this text part is basically all up to you i just added dance with the font aharoni one of my favorites now as you can see it is still on front of the subject and what you have to do for that is basically just move the text layer below from that gif after that you're basically done with the text behind the subject but i did add shadows to them and the moment you've been waiting for here are the results are now showing on screen i added some more clips here for more variations like i said this tutorial was gonna be really easy and this topic has been very popular and yet unsolved so here's your answer now on screen doesn't really do much accuracy on your video removal video background removal but still it's still pretty convenient for doing it the easiest way that's about it guys on this tutorial that was about putting text behind the subject i hope you guys enjoyed the video if this video helped you in any way don't forget to like and sub for more great content and yeah see you in the next video bye